If you choose to obey the power of sin, it leads to... Welcome to The View from Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and Webcast One Live.com. Welcome to The View from the Pew. I'm Reich Pleck, your host here for the next hour or so or so. We'll be taking your calls at 855-244-0077 as you tune in to 99.3 KTIA FM and also www. The View from the Pew. I want to welcome not only my friend, my brother from another mother, but also my in-house guest. Oh, uh, my children's youth pastor, <laughs> my my um, jokester, uh, uh, ex conure Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick, all the way from Cornerstone Family Church right here in DMIA. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. You good. know, I, I've known you for quite some time, and I am, I'm glad that you came out. Almost too long. Well, no. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, I am. I'm truly glad that you came out to, to be on the show. We're going to talk to you about youth ministry, talk to you about uh, the hype that you have coming up. We also have a caller on the line. We have another youth pastor and a singer, a songwriter, a minister, a preacher, a priest, a cardinal, a baptist. Uh, I don't know what he is. But we have uh, Minister Jamal Brantley on the line with us. Are you, are you there, Jamal? Yes, I'm here. How are you doing, sir? Good, good. All the way from New York City, Brooklyn, New yes, York, New York, right? New York, yes. What's up? Nothing, man. Well, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm excited about being on the show today. I know you are. You and I have been talking for quite some time, and I am glad that you said yes. Yes, I'm honored to be on it. Thank you again for considering me all the way from where you are to where I am. Amen, amen. Well, I tell you what, the the other brother across the table from me, excuse me, I got an eyelash in my eye, and I know that people are watching me, so I do apologize. <laughs> my other brother across the table from me, the better looking one, um, he he's he's a, a better shade of me. Oh, but okay. <laughs> he knows I'll say anything because I'm crazy for Christ, amen. But um, we want to we wanna talk to him because he's going to have to run halfway through the show, uh, Minister Jamal. But the two of you, I fo- I've been following you since I tried to scout you for, for Dan Willis, Jamal. But I want to introduce wow. you to, I want to introduce you to Bi- uh, Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick. He is hosting an event coming up this month with um, uh, uh, Takashi. Tadashi. Tadashi. Okay. Tadashi. 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 That's right. Yeah. And it's called The Hype. Um, go ahead and, um, Ryan, will you bring up that poster with Tadashi? And tell us what's going on, Pastor Byron. What you, I know that we had Tadashi scheduled earlier and there was a mishap in his family, unfortunately. Right. And right. Um, we now have the pleasure to bring him back in and have a magnificent, godly event for youngsters of old and new, young, right? Right. right. Tell us what's going to happen at The Hype to turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Turn it up is the title of the event. It, uh, it started last year, uh, and we had a conf- it was a youth conference, a two day conference, a Friday evening, then all day Saturday. And we had guests in, uh, for ministry, for classes, breakout sessions, for concerts, music, praise and worship, the whole nine for the whole weekend. And, uh, we had such a great, uh, response from it. People saying we need to make this an annual event. So we, uh, planned it again this year for April and Tadashi being one of our, our main uh, uh, guests that's coming in doing a concert uh, with us, a Christian hip hop concert. And about a week or so before the event, his uh, one year old son passed away. Wow. And uh, which was a, a big blow to him and his family and, and everyone that's connected to him. And so, um, you know, so the event was, uh, we had to make a decision where we was going to continue with the event without him or if we was going to cancel or postpone or whatever. So we made the decision that we would postpone it until Tadashi was able to come and be a part of it. Um, a lot of people was looking forward to him coming. And, you know, I was just looking for a way to, you know, how, how can we honor him and respect him? And, you know, uh, and, and our way of doing it was to just postpone the event till he could be available to come and be a part of it. And so we uh, have it scheduled, uh, rescheduled uh, uh, for September the 28th. Okay. And uh, instead of doing a two-day conference like we originally planned, we're going to do a concert, an all-out Christian hip-hop concert. 
Okay. All right. And Leanne says, uh, what time is the event? And I think um, she just posted on my Facebook page. I think the poster says 5 p.m. The doors are open at 5 p.m.? Doors open at 5 p.m. The concert starts at 6 p.m. And that's at Cornerstone Family Church. And what's the address there at Cornerstone? The ad- address is 3114 Southwest 61st Street, Des Moines, Iowa. You cannot miss it. I mean, this is a 150,000 <laughs> square foot warehouse church. Been there for 25 wow. years on the corner of 63rd, actually Southwest 61st yeah. and Park Avenue. This place is as big as the Des Moines International Airport, people. You can't miss it. It is the, the beacon of hope, the light of lights in Des Moines, Iowa. The and best church in the city. You know what? I have to agree. <laughs> I have to agree because my pastor is probably tuning in and, and he he may get a spirit of slap on me if I don't give oh, a shout out to him. Yeah, you better. <laughs> pastor Dan and Ann Barry. Woo, woo. So um, for the, the 80,000 people tuning in on IP address and the, the, the 20,000 on KTIA, we just want to lift up to you that Tadashi is coming. He is a little bit different than a listening crowd that you might normally listen to on on most Christian radio stations, but he definitely will lift your spirits. You mm-hmm. also have other artists that are coming with him, correct? Right. Well, uh, not, not uh, with him, uh, yeah, but they're going, him, but going to accompany the event. Right, right, exactly. Tell we us something have, about the other artists. The other artist we have is uh, a guy by the name of Nick Folks. Um, he used to uh, be a campus pastor at um, uh, Life Church TV in Tulsa. Uh, he was also with a church, a ministry in Minneapolis. His he's a minister as well as a Christian hip hop artist. Uh, I mean, this guy is 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 just awesome. He is a great uh, minister as well as a, a performer. Um, one of his gifts and talents is uh, he loves to do hip hop worship, and he does it in a way that that attracts a really diverse crowd. You know, one of the things about us at Cornerstone is we we uh, really focus on diversity in our ministry, and so um, Nick is the epitome of what we. Uh, like to see come forth in church. All right. And then um, another artist we got about an, a guy by the name of Rio, uh, Rio Country Boy Oliver. Country of, Boy, uh, all right. Yeah, country Boy Oliver out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri, you know, and he's going There is nothing country about St. Louis. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's it, 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 he, he is, uh, you know, I guess if you say he's the country city, you know. <laughs> Straight up country city. Okay. Yeah, country city. That's Citified. what people say about me. They say I'm country city, you know. But uh, he is uh, uh, a great uh, hip hop artist. He's a minister as well, a youth minister, working in the youth ministry in his church with his dad pastors. And uh, he is coming and being a part of uh, uh, this event, the Turn It Up uh, concert. We have um, another guy by the name of uh, Double J, uh, Daniel Johnson. And he's uh, a local guy here from uh, in the Iowa area, uh, central Iowa area. He uh, resides in Minneapolis, St. Paul area right now. And he was a part of the Turn Up uh, Conference uh, last year that we did, as well as Rio. Rio was a part of the Turn Up Conference last year. All and right. we had uh, some uh, response. We have some, he's back by popular demand. I mean, people was like, man, you got to have Rio back, you know, because he just tore it up. And then Double J as well. And uh, people want to see him. And so he's coming back to be a part of it. He's a Christian hip hop artist as well. And then uh, we have a guy, a local guy here in Des Moines by the name of uh, RJ for God. Uh, Rajan Monroe, and uh, he's coming, and he's going to be opening up the entire show for us. Uh, right here from the DMIA? The DMIA, that's okay. right. That's right. And uh, uh, RJ, man, I tell you, this guy is just uh, a really talented Christian uh, hip-hop artist. A lot of people don't know it, but he's got a flow, man. I tell you, it's out of this world. Um, you know, people need to check him out for real. So, Pastor Jamal, you know, if you need a hookup on some uh, some quality artists that are certified po- folk, you know, you, you got to hit Pastor <laughs> okay. Byron up on my Facebook page, and he'll, he'll be sending some people your way. Uh, now, we got people we'll pounding up my Facebook page right now. A.B. Medina says, you better give me a shout-out, Pastor Byron. A.B., He says yeah. he's doing sound for you. So I know that he'll shut your mic off if you don't give him a shout-out right now. Oh, man, A.B., he is <laughs> our sound engineer, sound tech, sound genius. The guru. Sound master. Uh, He's you know, the, minister, our, the minister of sound. Uh, Puerto Rican brother. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> what, now, what's the dance you did online? The, the dance that I did the, online? The, sh- the What is the shuffle? Or the, 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 oh, the, the, the Brooklyn shuffle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, my man here on the phone, he's from New York, so. I, I'm not going to disrespect New York with that brook, <laughs> that 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 shuffle. You know, we know what the original shuffle looks like, but you the know, Harlem shuffle. Yeah, the Harlem. Yeah, we had to do right. some little, have some fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. We, we got Leanne <laughs> tuning in from Nebraska. Hey, Leanne, woo woo. Yeah, that's my girl over there, my classmate from grade school. Got to give her a shout out too. So you know what? The the turn it up is just going to be 
just the hype of hip hop, gospel rap, music to the never end. What age groups are you reaching out to with this event? Well, this event is uh, orig- the, the conference originally is uh, targeted toward teenagers, but um, we we don't exclude anyone from being able to participate in this concert now. Uh, that it is, it's open to everybody of every age. You know, we're not discriminating anybody whatsoever. The the uh, the very young as well as the not so very young. We invite everybody to come out. You know, we don't care what type of religious background you have. If you, you heard that melody, Bolden. Uh, uh, he does not discriminate on age. Not he said. at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you know, I, I'm I'm an original hip hopper, so and I'm getting up in age. But uh, you know, we invite everyone to come out to be a part of this. It doesn't matter what denomination. You know, church to unchurched, you know, it's, it's going to be a great event. Is there a cost for the event? There is a cost for the event. It's uh, $10 uh, for the cost. Uh, and all the ticket, the ticketing is uh, online ticketing. So if you go to our website, uh, cfchype.com or imcornerstone.com, and it'll, there's a link there to get the tickets. At the door, there's uh, $15 at the door. So. Ryan, can you put that up on the tagline for us? Do you need that again? Can you say that one more time? Where can they get tickets at? Tickets is at CFC Hype. CFC H Y P E dot com. Dot com or I am. That's I A M. I Cornerstone. A M Cornerstone. I am Cornerstone. I am Cornerstone. You know, like I am. You know, I am Cornerstone. I am right? Cornerstone. Yeah. <laughs> dot com. Dot com. Did yep. you get that, Ryan? Okay. He's moving a little slow today because he's got me talking Ohio fast over yeah. here. So. You know, there's there's one other artist who I just want to make menace, uh, uh, mention of that's going to be there. A guy by the name of uh, uh, DJ Chris Van Dam. He is a local guy as well. He's a Don't Christian DJ. Don't on my show. Oh, you know, hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's his name, you know. So uh, DJ Chris Van Dam, he is a local guy from here here in Des Moines. And, uh, you know, I, I found this guy uh, through a, a young lady by the name of Linda Evans and you know, when I saw him, man, he was performing at the Iowa State Fair, and uh, he is a great talent. He's going to come and he's going to be mixing it up and scratching and, you know, doing what, doing what DJs do, but uh, in a Christian way. All right. All right. Well, I tell you what, we are looking to a, an awesome move of God through this event. I know that, that God does move and have his being with everything that uh, you produce and and uh, put your, your thumb to there at Cornerstone. I've worked with you many, many years in camps and conferences, nailing shoes down to decks <laughs> during camps and conferences. You know, uh, uh, Pastor Jamal, you have to get to know this, 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 I'm going to say young man, even though he's got more gray in his beard than mine because I have no beard. Uh-huh. Okay. But this, this man will tear you up in Jesus and, and, and leave your tennis shoes nailed to the, the deck outside of a cabin. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, and, and, and we, we get him back. I tell you what, he, he is not without reprieve <laughs> because, um, well, you just got to check out his Facebook posts because oh, we, we got him back. He's smiling. He knows we got him. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I love so, I love vanilla pudding, too. But, you know? but, hey, <laughs> Davida, Sister Davida, you know, we got Pastor Pudding toes in the studio today. So anyway, Jamal, do you have any questions for Pastor Byron? Why we got him here? Uh, yes, I will ask one question. What is it that has made uh, your turn of conference uh, so successful? I believe you said it was this is the second year, I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah, so what is, what are the things that you do that that makes it so successful that you will get to draw your crowd, especially when it comes to youth and young adults in, in this generation? Um, you know, I think uh, it's just uh, the the vision uh, of our church, uh, which okay. is Cornerstone Family Church. And, you know, our, our mission is to, you know, helping all people uh, find their lives in Christ, crossing cultural, okay. denominational, ethnic, and social, um, and, and even uh, uh, age uh, uh, lines, and okay. we we desire to bridge people together. We believe that the the, the body of Christ should be not a a, a segregated time uh, or group of people, but it should be a diverse group of people. And so, okay. uh, in the in everything that we do, we try to make sure that uh, diversity uh, that there there is an element of diversity, uh, a good element. And so, in our turn up conference, you know, um, it was it was done in a way that there was uh, diversity done in it. Uh, our worship band for and some of the ministers for the conference, uh, the worship band was a very strong rock bass, rock sound. Um, okay. And then uh, we did some concerts, which uh, we had some hip hop. We had a gospel singer. So we diversified uh, what we did, and it, it, it attracts a lot of people. 
Okay. We are talking to Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick and also Minister Jamal Brantley, all the way from Brooklyn, New York, right here in the DMIA at The View from the Pew. We'll welcome your calls at 855-244-0077, also on KTIA 99.3. Call us up, but tune in, turn on, and turn it up in Jesus' name. We'll be right back after this with more Reich Plekis on The View from the Pew. If you choose to obey the power of sin, it leads to death. If you choose to obey obedience, it leads to righteousness. Forgiveness is just the beginning of life in Christ. God wants us to live for him now. And because of Jesus Christ, the gospel was preached, and you and I are blessed today because of Abraham. Did you know that? We're blessed. Experience Truth, 99.3 FM. Yes, now your favorite programs on Webcast One Live can all be watched and listened to on any Android or Apple device. Your phone, tablet, or iPad. Yes, your favorite shows on Webcast One Live are available live or on podcast wherever you go. Let me introduce to you some of our great shows. Shalom. Every week on Understanding the World with Rabbi David Kaufman, we'll talk about issues in the Middle East, issues related to the Jewish tradition and religious traditions in general, and keep you up to date on exactly what's going on around the world. You may know some of the story, but you haven't heard all of the story until you've heard it on Understanding the World with Rabbi David Kaufman and our special guests we have on every week. Like right now. Did you feel anything? Yeah. You did? I was dealing with some back issues um, due to the depression that I'm in, and right now they're gone. Sickness called Lyme disease. It was really bad, and I could have died up of it, but um, God healed me of it. <laughs> So when you want to watch your favorite Webcast One program, remember, there's an app for that. You know, there's an app for that. From the Remax Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Whether you're 10, 25, 50, 80 years old and beyond, everyone needs to live within their means. I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America. For almost a quarter of a century, we've helped people of all ages learn to manage their personal finances to benefit them far into the future. When problems arise, we've got the experience you need to make those debt problems go away. Got financial problems? Call Consumer Credit of America. We are back here at The View from the Pew in KTIA 99.3. I'm Rake Plekis with my special guest, my confidant, my bishop, my pastor, my youth pastor, my pope, my cardinal, Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick, all the way from the south side of DMIA, Cornerstone Family Church. Pastor Byron, welcome back. We're going to talk real quick here in the, the second half on the, uh, the Cornerstone Family Church event, Turn It Up concert coming up September 28th featuring Tadashi, Nick Folks, Rio, Double J, RJ for God, uh, DJ Chris Van Dam Bandam. That's right. And ten dollars <laughs> online at www.cfchype.com. Go to my page. You can definitely um, uh, find more information out about it. You can also go to the IamCornerstone.com. That's right. Uh, page and find more information. Ryan, did we have another caller? What was that about? He doesn't know. That's okay. No, that was a guy. That was a guy called, named TB2. He said to tell you that. Uh, I think he said that. Uh, but he said to shout out that he's uh, watching. Woo woo, TB2. TB2. Just for you. All right there. Deuces, TB2. What's up, TB2? Right. <laughs> and we also have a minister brother, my brother from another mother, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Jamal Brantley on the phone with us. Jamal, thanks so much. Did you have another question for Pastor Byron? Why you got him here? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. You got any questions for my Brooklyn brother? Um, Brooklyn, 
You know, I, I uh, there's a, a ministry in Brooklyn that I was out there uh, some years ago working with a guy by the name of Bill Wilson Metro Ministries. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. And uh, man, I tell you, I was out there and, and doing some work with them, and I just love Brooklyn, love New York. He man. got like 155 school buses of kids. Oh doesn't man, he? yeah, he got a ton of stuff. Going he on. does, Jamal. I mean, this man had got he got a church of like 55,000 children or something <laughs> like that. I mean, it's I saw the video and I was watching the video one night, and this was probably about seven or eight years ago that mm-hmm. we saw the video, mm-hmm. Pastor Byron, Pastor B. But I mean. Kids were giving their testimonies, Jamal, and 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 I can send you this video, but it was, I mean, it scared this white boy's pants off in a New York <laughs> second. I mean, kids were giving their testimonies, and you thought you were watching like the Lost Boys from back in the day or something. Wow. Kids were saying that you know, um, I woke up and my mom put my three year old baby brother in the oven, you know, on three eighty, oh, and yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, it just brought tears to my eyes, and then they ended up featuring Bill Wilson on. Uh-huh. CBS Late Night or something like that, uh-huh. wasn't it, Pastor Byron? Yeah, I'm not sure. It was Late Night yeah. Live or something uh-huh. like that. But, I mean, you you need to, to meet him. He is an awesome guy out there in New York. And I know right. his church is just is moving and shaking and a very, very strong foundation out there. But, Jamal, um, I can't send a friend request to you to meet Pastor Byron. Definitely look him up. You know, I want to I want to reiterate again the the, the Turn It Up conference that's mm-hmm. coming here. Uh, Ryan, can we get that poster up again for Pastor Byron real quick? Tadashi, you know, we have been praying for you and for your family, especially for the loss of your loved one. We know that God definitely has a, a awesome work in you and your ministry. I know that, you know, my brother, SOCOM, I call him SOCOM Rap, all the way from uh, Seattle, Washington. He has worked with you on a couple different events, and um, he sends his love to you. We can't wait till you come here for September 28th for the Turn It Up event at Cornerstone Family Church. We're going to give a shout out to all the young people, young and old, in the DMIA and surrounding areas to come out to this event and support this event. You can get your tickets at www.cfchype.com or at imcornerstone.com. Right. You can also get them at the door. Um, tickets are a low price. I mean, you can't go somewhere and meet Jesus for less than $15. There it Absolutely. is. I mean, it, it just doesn't happen. And I tell you what, the, the family at Cornerstone, you will never feel more at home than when you get inside Cornerstone. That's I right. mean, from the parking lot ministry to the time you get dropped off to the time you go home, you'll be like, man, the <laughs> love is just so thick there. I tell you what, you just want to spend the night, bring a sleeping bag. That's it. It'll be an overnight at Cornerstone. I better retract that, Pastor Dan. I am so sorry. <laughs> They'll be there for church on Sunday morning. That's right. Bring bring your tithe. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to leave the, the general public with in regards to the, the Turn It Up event, Pastor Byron? Um, you know, I just want to encourage everybody, you know, to come out to see this event. You you may not be someone who's into, into hip-hop or Christian hip-hop. You know, Christian hip-hop today is way different from what it used to be. So if you have a pr- perspective about Christian hip-hop, it is it is not what it used to be. It is quality ministry uh that's going Say so. you know in in the form of hip hop in the form of rap and these guys are just not performing they're ministering they're touching lives and they're they're uh uh changing people bringing people into the kingdom of God and so um if you're looking for a great time come out and and join us and be a part of this event had a parent just hit me up I'm going to keep their name silent as they've asked is this also a time of ministry or just a time of music will my child be ministered during this evening uh, ministry so far as preaching uh, won't take place, but there will be a time of uh, ministering. Tadashi is known uh, at the end of his uh, set that he speaks, he talks, and he shares his testimony. And he, he, he shares the word of God so that he can draw somebody. And uh, there is a, a prayer time at the end of his set. So um, it, it won't be preaching like a Sunday morning preaching, but there will be a time of ministry where uh, he will be speaking, and then uh, at the close, I'll, I will share just a few words as well. Okay, and then also Jay asked, um, credit cards, debit cards, should I send my child with a debit card or credit card to buy any product afterwards? Um, yes, all of the artists are, uh, have products, uh, CDs, and different things like that, uh, So, and I know that they have uh, credit card uh, ability to make purchases, so that would definitely be a good idea if they want to buy some of those artist products. And Rose says, are you still looking for vendors? I am still looking for vendors. Um, go to cfchype.com. The vending information is on that website. And uh, if you have any questions about it, just give me a call or uh, send me an email. I, I'm, I'm willing to uh, work with anyone uh, who wants to be a vendor at the concert. 
All right. There you you heard it right here at The View from the Pew with Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick from Cornerstone Family Church, the only church to really attend in Des Moines. <laughs> if you want to be with us, that is. That's right. <laughs> Amen. If you have any questions, I know you can also reach Pastor Byron out at Cornerstone Family Church at 515-243-2852. You can also reach him online. And what's your email address out there? My email address is Byron, B-Y-R-O-N, at imcornerstone.com. You heard it right there. Byron, B-Y-R-O-N, at I a M cornerstone.com. We want to thank you very much for coming into the studio and we're going to get into some questions with Jamal Brantley. Then in a couple minutes, we'll go to music break and let you go. I know you have another appointment to slip off to. We're looking for a great event. Can we put the, t- the banner up there again real quick, Ryan on uh, turn it up and we're just going to say a quick, qu- quick special prayer for all the artists at turn it up here coming up September 28th here in Des Moines for Nick folks and Rio double J RJ for good DJ Chris Von Dom and especially Tadashi, but also, um, foremost for Pastor Dan and Ann for hosting the event with Pastor Byron's leadership in regards to this, but for the youth and the old alike that will be coming out for this event, we ask that you safeguard the highways and the byways of the people that come in from the north, the south, the east, and the west of this event. May it multitude the saints into the kingdom of God here on earth. Amen. And also uh, multiply the saints so that they be delivered and set free from any of the bondages that um, tie them up in their daily deeds so that they can do God's work. Amen. That's right, man. Right. Pastor Jamal from yeah. Brooklyn, New York. What's up? Nothing, man. I'm chilling. I'm excited to be on the line on today. I know you are. From the age of three years, well, we'll say six, <laughs> began to grow spiritually while receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Shambhala, shambhala, shambhala. <laughs> Keys to Mahanda. Yes. But you I, you are a ministering maniac. I see all your pictures and you're singing and you're jumping and you're praising and shouting. <laughs> you are you are a, a male version of Shirley Caesar in, in height. I'm like, yeah! Man, to God be the glory. I mean, I, it surprises me how far your pictures and videos and ministry goes. You know, my pastor, shout out to my pastor, Bishop Charles Walsh Jr., Brian Tabernacle, who teaches us that there's some places you will never go, but your ministry will go. That's right. And so it's, it's a blessing to be able to minister to people either through radio, through social media. So you never know where you're going to end up. So, you know, to God be all the glory. Absolutely. Absolutely. You started preaching at a young age. Yes. And, and, and years old. Uh, 15 or 18? 16. 16. Wow. Do you remember what your first sermon was about? My first sermon was fighting against disobedience. Mm. Mm. And I was really, really young. And I believe it was on a youth service at my church, which I am. I've been in my my church now for about almost going on eleven years. And uh, my former pastor, which is my pastor now, his father, Bishop Charles Watts Senior, um, said that you know he wanted me to speak, and I was just like, speak what what? But then I realized that was my calling, and so you know I got up and I preached from you know putting on the whole arm of God because I felt that that's what it would take to fight off you know, the things that the enemy would throw at us. And one of the major things that our generation is disobedience. You know, we don't, we rebel so quickly. So um, that was my first message, fighting against disobedience. You know, people can see disobedience in everyday acts, but they just don't admit it. You know, I, I've been on this three year weight loss kick <laughs> and I'm, I'm serious, you know, and um, I, I did this thing and my pastor does it right now. He's been doing it like for a long time. And I mean, he's so, you know, fit as it is anyhow. But my, my daughter and I, a couple of years ago, set out to do this 10 week challenge. It's called the Pharaoh's 10 week challenge. And I had never done a, a workout regime in my entire life. Wow. And I made it past three weeks and I was, di- well, I was at week two. I was dying. I went back to my office. I said, I'm going to lay down on the floor. Uh-huh. If I don't wake up, call the paramedics, you know? And, and so then I made it past week three and it was a breeze because I became into obedience yes. of the regime of the, the training that mm-hmm. came forth with it. Right. And then from that, I said, okay, I could stop drinking 18 diet Cokes a day, you know? Right. And then I stopped eating French fries and then I stopped eating McDonald's all in all. And so I became into obedience of a new, a new era. And, you know, I've, I've dropped 83 pounds since then. I mean, I've gone from a, a wow. 63 inch waist to a 48 inch waist because awesome. I've changed my, my, my obedience level in regards to right. eating. Now I get, I need Absolutely. to get back into that, that obedience of exercise, but 
that's what it's all about. So you, yes. you went from being disobedient and not speaking and not ministering to doing what God right. called you to do. Mm-hmm. You, were com- you were commissioned. Yes, it, it was a fight. And I think most of the time, you know, a lot of us fight against what God has called us to do because of the fact we don't feel that we're qualified because of the mistakes we've made or decisions that we made. But I feel, me personally, and of course, Pastor Byron can uh, come in on it, is that, you know, your, your, your mistakes kind of qualify you because you can't minister to people who've never made mistakes mm. if you never made none. That's mm. right. That's right. I, I definitely yes. uh, agree with that. And you, so it's, it's, it's needed. You have a quote, something good is coming out of the hood. Oh, yes, yeah, something good. I think, you know, most most people feel that the hood, there, there's nothing good coming out of it. And I'll never forget, my pastor got it one Sunday morning, and this is what made me stick with this quote. He preached at our church, um, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And he preached about Jesus coming out of Nazareth, which people looked at as a place of disgust and disgrace. And he preached that, and I noticed, I said, you know, look at the society that we live in, 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 in the area I live in, in bed Brooklyn. You know, it looks like nothing will come out of it. But mm-hmm. there's a lot of people who will come out of this hood with something good. You have a lot of young people who come out with degrees. They have their own businesses. And so that's one thing that I, I preach around this country is that something good is going to come out of the hood. Right. Amen. Yeah, that's, that's ironic. Me and my brother, we were talking last night. He, he lives in Atlanta right now. And we're both from okay. uh, Memphis and, uh, uh, I mean, a real uh, poverty-stricken down neighborhood full of crime. Okay. And, and we were talking about different things uh, that we grew up in, our environment and so forth. And, uh, you know, that was one of the things that uh, we recognize is that it doesn't seem like anything good that, that you know, do come out of the hood. But Absolutely. That, it's a false, it's a false uh, reality. It and, is. Um, you know, I, I, my brother had made a, uh, one of his friends had made a statement to him that he hadn't seen in a while. He said, man, you made it. And my brother's like, what do you mean I made it? He said, you made it out of the hood. And he was like, uh-huh. yeah, man, because it's not, it's not always an easy thing to do, you know. Absolutely but uh, with 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 God in your life, with Christ in your life, hey, anything's possible. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We will be back shortly after this with more Minister Cardinal Bishop Pete Priest Jamal Brantley, all the way from Brooklyn. We're gonna say so long and deuces out to my brother from another Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick. We have people shouting out saying, "Bring him back, bring him back." So we'll schedule you back in. But remember, tune in, turn on, and turn it up in Jesus' name here at the View from the Pew with Reich Plekus. We'll be right back after this and more. Tune in. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner and general manager of Service Legends. Oh, I brought uh, along a couple of the uh, home comfort heroes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy Wells. I am Nick Wondershot. I'm administrative manager. I'm the senior technician. From Service Legends. It seems like every good thing, when you feel it to the bone that it's good, there's a lot of hard work put behind it. You just, I, I don't think that you can fake it and have it turn out good. You know, if we seem like, okay, that's just weird, it's just a furnace, why would you believe so deeply in a furnace? It's not just that, you know, we want to show the world that you can have good service. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be, it's your home. You know, it's it's built into our daily trainings, it's built into our culture, um, that we're gonna do whatever it takes to have each client say they love us, period. That's why we spend all the hours in the training that we do, and if we guarantee it's gonna be a good experience for you, or else it's free, what type of work do you think we're going to do? <laughs> there is a guarantee. Temperature selection guarantee, fixed rider it's free guarantee, comfort guarantee, best value guarantee, all of these guarantees hold us accountable to ensuring that we exceed your expectations. And if for whatever reason we'd fail and we can't make it right, we guarantee all of those guarantees with a 100% money back guarantee. I mean, if you don't think that your technician can fix it right, are you going to say that to a client? No. <laughs> You don't have to worry about having a technician come to your house. We drug test, background check all of our team members. We put safe people in your home. Each and every one of our service techs, 400 hours a year in training. You tell it the minute they walk in the door. They know what they're doing, they've done their homework, and they actually truly care about what you want. Because at the end of the day, you're the person that makes sure I have a job. They're going to be listening. They're going to want to know what your challenges are. Then they're going to come and give you options, and, and you get to choose. If I'm there to help and I make it easy and painless, I did my job right that day. Well, when it comes to your comfort, safety, and your family. You know, you don't necessarily go buy the most expensive, but you get the most bang for your buck. Oh, it's worth it because there's a lot of people that will find a way to get it to work right now and then leave. 
and then come back, charge you again, and, and the cycle just repeats itself. So when I'm out there looking at the furnace, I want to find why it failed the day. How can we change the part today with something that you're not going to have to worry about? Is it worth changing the part today? I mean, you can put a lot of money into a furnace. I can fix parts all day. There's good job security in that for me. But is it the right thing for you? I get a lot of the phone calls of after the technicians are there. They're just in awe. They're like, wow, you guys are great. I mean, I don't even know what to say. You guys are great. Everything you did was perfect. It was great. <laughs> Keep going, though. I like this. <laughs> just give us a try. I'm going to take all the risk. I've got the time to make this right. I've got the support to make it right. Just check us out. And if you don't see the value in what we do. I mean, fixed writer, it's free or 100% money back. Enough said. Welcome to The View from Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. We are back here at The View from the Pew in KTIA 99.3. Reich Plekis is your host, and we want to thank Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick of Cornerstone Family Church coming out. We also want to thank uh, Minister Jamal Brantley, all the way from Brooklyn, New York, who is tuning in with us live via telephonetic ties. How are you yeah. doing, Pastor Jamal? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? All right, all right. Okay, so, you know, you've been ministering, and, and God's saying that something good's coming out of the hood. What yeah. does What's God have in store for you for the, maybe the next three to five years? Three to five years. Let me, I'll say, um, one of the things that I do want to do is I want to go back to uh, school to get some more schooling and ministry. Uh, I want to take up some youth courses because I, I'm still, I'm the youth leader in my church, but I think I'm still learning how to become a youth leader uh, with the assistance of my pastors. So there's a lot of things that I want to do. I want to be able to um, launch my own foundation. Um, there's a lot of things concerning our youth um, in the hood that don't have, you know, parents that can't send their kids to college and things of that nature. So there's a lot of things that I really want to do that will assist them and their families to get them to the next dimension. So that's some of the things that I want to do. All right. And is there, is there one thing you would like to accomplish in youth ministry for your church there at, uh, at, uh, Zion? Uh, yes, there's one dream that I have, and that is to have a separate building for youth ministry at our church, uh, to have like a youth chapel. Um, you know, of course, our church, um, we have a small church, but we have a, a mega visionary who sees more than what we have now. And so what I really want to do is I want to be able to impart into them. But, you know, for us to have about maybe 500 young people in one building would be awesome. And, I mean, if we can have a separate building, that, that'd be awesome. Now, you're at Zion Tabernacle Holiness Church, is that correct? Which, I'm sorry? Are you at Zion uh, yes. Tabernacle? Zion Tabernacle in Brooklyn. All right. You know, um, I have a pastor friend, and I call him my pastor because he really is. He's okay. an apostle. Uh, okay. Garland, Garland Scott is actually from, I believe, Harlem, and okay. and he's got a testimony. You can hit him up on Facebook. Okay. He, 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 um, he did some time. Okay. And we all know what that means. Yes. And, and his time was forgiven, forgotten, and then okay. he became a White House advisor. Okay. And generally when you have paper— you uh -huh. can't serve as a a White House staff advisor, and oh, really? he is now he is a White House advisor for faith based initiative programs. But he's also the the apostle and the pastor of Embassy Fellowship out of Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm okay. giving him a shout out because he he is doing great works. He's setting up reintegration centers all across the United States for men coming out of prison to come back home and be a blessing back to their, their communities. And so these centers are housing anywhere from 50 to 80 young men or old men alike to come back and learn, uh -huh. learn how to reintegrate into society, but to do it properly and, and rightfully right. so, to become citizens, not to become a menace, you know. And he's not browbeating them with the Bible, you know. He's not saying you got to do it this way or you're going to go to hell, you know, so on and so forth. But um, he, he still has ties back to New York. This yes. man has never bought a church building. Wow. And you need to look him up. It's Garland, G-A-R-L-A-N-D, Scott. 
He's okay. in Jacksonville, Florida. He still has uh, New York ties, but he okay. has never purchased a church building. Wow. He has wow. always been blessed. And, and he is very approachable. You hit him okay. up and he definitely will say, you know, okay, Reich told you to hit me up, what, what you need. And, 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 you know, if you ever have time, go visit him in Jacksonville or if he comes back to visit his family in New York, I'm, I know okay. that he will definitely spend time with you. Okay. But keep the faith. That's why I'm yes. saying this, because God orchestrates what he ordains. He does, absolutely. And he gives vision for pro. When he gives a vision, it will be made provision. Amen. And that's one of the things that I think most people, leaders, period, should, should have. And I think that my, I have some people here in New York, I mean, it's, it's different. You know, some people, I think they've moved too fast. They've become pastors too fast. And they're like 23, and they're trying to pastor. My thing is enjoy life and enjoy ministry. Because when you do, God will bless you. But then at the same time, you don't want to rush it. You want to be moving God's timing. Absolutely. You know, Philippians 4.19 says, and God will supply every need of yours according every to his riches and glory. Absolutely. And I, I just recalled that scripture and, and, you know, but you have to be in right standing. You, you have, have to, to position yourself to receive. Absolutely. That, and, I, and I feel the same way when it comes to the with, with prophetic words. I think a lot of times we get prophecy and what happens is we don't see it come to pass and we say, oh, the, the prophet is a liar. But I feel that you have to, your life has to line up to the word that has been spoken over your life. And once that happens, then the blessings of God can flow. Amen. Do you have your passport yet? I don't have my passport yet. I've been told a hundred million times I need to get it. Eight. I was just going to say, you need to get your passport. That's why I asked you. Yes, and, I'm going and, 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 to and, get it. And I want to ask this. Have you and I ever spoke on the phone? No, we have not. Have you and I ever spoke in depth other than me asking you to be on the show? No. Have you and I ever spoke about a passport before? No, we have not. Then that's confirmation right there. Yes, it is. It is confirmation. And and, and, and it's, it's so amazing because I think I hold myself back because I, you know, God wants to take me places, but I've been getting those same words, confirmation, confirmation, you got to get your passport, you got to get your passport, and I haven't got it yet. So okay, I this is what my prayer is going to be right now for you, Minister Jamal Brantley. Mm -hmm. I am going to pray that somebody in Zion Tabernacle mm -hmm. pays the application fee for you wow. within the next seven days to get your passport. It's it's seventy five dollars. Yeah, it is. It's, that's it. It's only seventy five dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna pray that somebody in Zion Tabernacle blesses you with mm -hmm. your passport fee. I believe it. God is decreasing you so he can yes. increase in you. Absolutely. And you have places yes. to go so that you can learn more in him. Yes. There's a lot more out there to, to do and to go than to yes. go to a school to learn about Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. There's a lot of land to cover. And, yes. and he wants you to go places and see places to, uh, to understand the riches and glory that he has in Philippians 4.19. Absolutely. I you. received that. I received that. And, and I would not have asked you about a passport if God didn't unction me to say that right then I and there. I definitely believe that. I, I definitely believe that. I, I think uh, this week was interesting. I was in preaching in Richmond, Virginia this uh, last week on uh, Wednesday, and I went to hear a young man. Uh, shout out to Bishop Shante Younger from the Ramp Church uh, out there in Lynchburg, Virginia. But uh, he, was, he came to Richmond to preach, and um, he ministered to me and told me that the Lord said the place where I am is too small and that God wants to enlarge my territory. And so, you know, you, again, have confirmed what he has told me. Stop ministering for free. Okay. God has blessings in store for you and for the storehouse. Thank you. I received that. God has blessings for you and also for his storehouse. I believe that. You can't give back to the ministry if you're constantly giving of yourself. You don't. That is true. Do not prostitute yourself and prostitute his gifts he's given you. I will not. And, and I'm learning that more and more every day. Um, because sometimes we try to be friends with people. But uh, when, when the Lord is called you to do a work, I think it's always good to sow into good ground. And I don't, you know, toot my own horn, man, but I believe that God has put good soil in me and that when people sow, he's going to bring it back to them a hundredfold. I just looked up a scripture here. I had to look this up. Matthew 6 and 26 says, look at the birds of the air. They neither mm -hmm. sow nor reap nor gather into barns. And yet your mm -hmm. heavenly father feeds them. Are yes. you not of more value than they? He's, he's, he's got something in store for you. Yes. And you can't be doing it completely freely. Yeah. I and, don't do that. Okay. 
Okay. And, and like I, I said, I that. scouted you before and, and you yeah. and I have never, ever spoken physically spoke. on the phone. Never and so I, I hope that this word blesses you. I hope that yes, this it, is a, I hope that this is an end time word for you. It is. It is. And I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much again for allowing me to be on the show. When I first heard about it, people were telling me, they was like, man, it's going to be awesome, you know, for you to be on that. And you're in New York as many people view. So it, it's an awesome thing. And I, and I believe God's going to definitely take this, this radio ministry for our place. Amen. We are having a blessed time. We will welcome your calls here. We're getting ready to go into the last segment of The View from Pew. We welcome your calls to 855-244-0077 with Minister Jamal Brantley from Brooklyn, New York. I can't talk because Jesus is in the studio right now. Call us at 855-244-0077. Tune in, turn on, but turn it up in Jesus' name. We'll be right back after this. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Drink, dance, party. Kitties is the ultimate dance club in Des Moines. A huge dance floor with room to move, three bars to keep your drinks full, and kicking DJs playing all your favorite dance music. At Kitties, we've always got your birthday party planned with birthday Fridays. That's right, when your birthday rolls around, there's only one place to go. Gather up your friends and head to Kitties, where you drink free on the Friday of your birthday week. Find out more about birthday Fridays at kittiesusa.com. Kitties, all kinds of people, all kinds of music, all kinds of fun. Drug and alcohol addiction slowly steals a person's identity, tearing away pieces of their life little by little until one day it seems like the hope of a happy future is gone and there's no chance of getting it back. Here at St. Gregory Retreat Centers, we can assure you that there is hope. Our unique approach to recovery begins with the understanding that the dysfunction and damage caused by addiction can be overcome, not just dealt with. Don't let another day go by. Call St. Gregory today. If you choose to obey the power of sin, it leads to death. If you choose to obey obedience, it leads to righteousness. Forgiveness is just the beginning of life in Christ. God wants us to live for him now. And because of Jesus Christ, the gospel was preached, and you and I are blessed today because of Abraham. Did you know that? We're blessed. Experience Truth, 99.3 FM. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Welcome to The View from Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. We're back here at The View for the Pew with Reich Plekis and with my special guest all the way from Brooklyn, New York, Minister Jamal Brantley. And yes, um, I welcome you back. And I, I, I had to tell, uh, tell Brother Ryan, my engineer, my producer, that I'm getting drunk in the Holy Ghost in here. And I don't say that lightly. I even had to type to my sister, Melody Bolden. Um, you know, I, and, and also Bob Montserrat that couldn't be with me today, that I'm, I'm just tongue-tied because, um, and, and people that, that know me, Minister Jamal, know that I generally just don't throw out a scripture like that on air. Of course. But for me to throw out, get your passport, is, is in due season, due time. Yes, it is. And, and I had to look up a scripture here as, as Sister Melody was messaging me. John 3 and 30 says, he must increase, but I must decrease. Absolutely. And, and, and I had to look up that scripture just to reaffirm what I was saying to you. Yes. And, and so um, this, this is a due time for you. And, and your, pastor, your pastor will understand what's going to happen to you. Okay. by the works that's happening through you because okay. your pastor has sowed into you yes, long yes. enough that they will see they will see the goods the the good soil that they've sown to absolutely 
So, I, I, you know, it's, it's amazing. And I'm sorry to interrupt you. It's, it's amazing because, you know, a lot of times I think, you know, when you don't feel like you, you have everything you need, like you need more, I think that's when you realize that you totally depend on God. And, and I have people in my church who say, you know, when they get up to minister, to preach, or to sing, they're nervous. And I think that's a good thing because that means you're totally depending on God. And this season, I'm really totally depending on God. I'm going to share this with you. I, have, I haven't been working since last year of May. My dad passed in 2011 from a brain aneurysm, and you know, you know, when things happen in your family, you know, you have you have bills and things of that nature. And I kept telling God, I said, Lord, I need a job, and for some reason, I cannot find a job to save my life. But I've been getting word like, you know, God's gonna take care of you. Don't worry about it. And one of my main things my dad has taught me is that you know, you got to take care of your family. You know, my mom said I'm the head of household. I'm only 25. So, you know, you know, when you're doing things, my sister's in college doing excellent. Shout out to my sister, Krista Brantley, uh, Mercy College here in New York. She's doing excellent. And so my desire is, and one of my prayers is that, you know, Lord, bless me to bless my family. And so I really do that God is going to open up many doors in his next season or in this season of my life to be able to bless my family and to take care of what I need to take care of. Amen. You know, hmm. God has a plan for you. Yes. And that plan may be removing you from Zion okay. to take you to a, a place like Damascus. Okay. Damascus was a very rich place. Mm-hmm. And when the people left out of Damascus, they got blessed. Right. And I only know that because I've researched the the limestone they came mm-hmm. out of Damascus and, and where it was deposited to in the towns that it moved to. Right. And we, we got a caller calling in right now. We're, we're going to go there, but your church will get blessed by your move. I believe it. We got a caller. We're going to see who this is. Caller, who's there? Who do we got? Sabrina. Hey, sister Sabrina, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm drunk, girl. You know me. I'm, I'm messed up. What you got? Well, I was just thinking, I was listening and stuff, and I was thinking that, well, you was kind of on it, though. God will take you out of a place, and he will allow nothing to happen just so we can be in him. Mm. And that is amazing to me because God has did that to me. He snatched my husband off the job, and I was the male in the relationship, and snatched me off my job. He cut my hours completely down to boost him up and put him in the place that he needed to be. Sometimes we won't move when God say move. So he moves us to make us move to where we need to go. So just a little encouragement from my brother, because God does things in mysterious ways. We can't plan what God is doing. And sometimes try to comprehend, but his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. We're not even on that level of thinking. So he will snatch you out from somewhere to bring you into something greater with more favor and more purpose for your mission Mm. at hand. Shut the Bible. (laughs) They say shut the back door. Shut the Bible. Yeah, shut the Bible. I received that, sis. Thank you so much. I received that. That's a Jamal. That's Sister Sabrina Wisdom Brown. She's got a, a TV ministry out of uh, Chicago, Illinois. And I tell you what, this woman will feed into your life. I believe it. I and, be, and my mom's name is Sabrina. <laughs> Amen. Look at look at that. Look, look at, at that. God. Look at God. Sabrina, I tell you what, the the hair is standing up on my arms. I am. I told Ryan, I'm drunk here in the the studio. I'm in the green room alone. And, and, and J.L. Washington is watching the show from North Carolina. J.L., what's up? I'm, I'll give you a shout out when I get in my car if I can walk downstairs, okay, after this. So, um, you know, get your passport. Somebody from Zion Tabernacle, buy this man his passport in the next seven days. Don't make me out to be a liar. <laughs> I believe it's going to happen. I believe it. I do, too. I tell you what, as, as a youth minister, the youth worker, put that back up there, Ryan, would you? As a youth minister of Zion Tabernacle Holiness Church of Brooklyn, New York, Jamal Brantley, you have greater things to do in Jesus Christ. You have you have you have the holy of holies to meet. There's a reason why you're at something called Holiness Church. 
Yes, absolutely. And there's a reason why he gave me the word to you to get your passport, and it's been spoken over you time and time again, and you and I have never spoke about it. Never spoke. And and get ready to decrease. Yes. Just, you know what? Right now, loosen your belt because when you loosen your belt, you can increase. That's wow. like a good meal allows you to expand. Yes, you know, when yes. you're sitting at the buffet and you've been eating everything up, you got to loosen your belt line so you That's can get true. some more up in there. You have to. I want to. I want to shout out my youth council members that will be part of Neil Harris and Brother Javon Barton. They are one of the greatest, some of the greatest people that you can ever work with. And we support each other to the top. And we have some of the greatest young people. Shout out to the Kingdom Youth Ministries at my church. We are a family people that push each other. And, and I'm just so proud of them and we're of taking them. And um, I would love to bring her and, and, and my other friend of the show, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Hallelujah. Uh, because they are phenomenal. They, they do a great work with young people. We, we just have a heart for God. Hallelujah. Well, it's another day of church chat up in here at the View from the Pew with Jamal Brantley, minister, pope, bishop, cardinal, <laughs> priest, the man of God and also woman of God, Sabrina Brown. Thanks for calling in, sister. And I want to thank Pastor Byron Fitzpatrick all the way from Cornerstone Family Church. You know what? We need more people like you right here at the View from the Pew. If you want to be a guest of mine, hit me up on Facebook or dial the studio at 855-244-0077. I want to thank my engineer, my producer, Ryan. He always makes me sound good and look good. But thank you, the listeners of KTIA 99.3 and The View from the Pew. Mac, thank you for allowing me to take over the two days of the show. We also need sponsors to make this show possible. If you'd like to be a sponsor or an advertiser, please hit me up. Till tomorrow, tune in, turn on, turn up. In Jesus' name.